On the last episode of the Steelers franchise, we had free agency. Our new pickups were as follows. Jamel Dean, Jonathan Jones, Deshaun Jackson, Donald Parham Jr., Lawrence Cager, and Dominican Sue, Jaron Kirst, and Jonathan Abram. And our only Steelers re-signings were Terrell Evans, Devin Bush, and William Jackson III. Everyone else we let walk in free agency and some of those notable names that aren't back on the roster are Larry Ogunjobi, Cam Sutton, Robert Spillane, Steven Sims, James Pierre, and DeMonte Casey. But now, it's time to draft. The latest mock draft has us taking Lucas Van Ness, defensive end out of Iowa. I could promise you right now, that is not going to happen. Because as you can see, some of the key guys that went after him that I could be targeting. Cornerback Christian Gonzalez, Joey Porter Jr., Jordan Addison, also cornerback Devin Witherspoon. It's looking like we're going to have some options, and Lucas Van Ness is not part of the script. The start of the draft contained an interesting wrinkle. We had a trade between user teams, even though we said no trades until after the draft they figured it out somehow and the bears and the seahawks made a trade for the number one overall pick and the seahawks ended up taking bryce young the rest of the draft goes as follows cj stroud to the texans will anderson to the cardinals miles murphy to the colts jalen carter to the bears with that traded pick will levis to the lions skaronski to the raiders brian brise to the titans paris johnson jr to the jets at 10 kalaja kansi goes to the falcons at 11 deontay banks who is the first cornerback off the board goes to the eagles dalton kincaid to the panthers at 12 tyree wilson to the texans at 13 with the 14th overall pick zay flowers is the first wide receiver taken and goes to the patriots 15 isaiah Foskey to the Packers, 16 tight end Michael Mayer to the Commanders. Now it's time for your Pittsburgh Steelers to draft. It's time to draft the first round pick of the 2023 NFL Draft. 17th overall, your Pittsburgh Steelers select Jordan Addison, bitch! Let's fucking go. Come on now. It's a good thing I didn't get Odell Beckham. Honestly, it's a good thing like the only receiver I signed was Deshaun Jackson. Yep, Kenny Pickett, Jordan Addison reunion. What else did you expect? Now my next plan for my next pick, which is the first pick in the second round, is to draft Joey Porter Jr. The problem is he goes just a few picks later. Oh uh, no, he was, he was gonna be my second round pick. He was going to be my second round pick. So now I'm thinking either Christian Gonzalez or Devin Witherspoon. But then I have to say never mind because they get drafted late in the first round. So I don't really know what to do at this point. I will take you back to me live on the clock in the second round. Pick one. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. All right. All right. All right. All right. I don't know who I want. I actually, I really don't know who I want right now. I'm going to, I'm probably taking some time with this one. <laughs> I ain't even fronting. Damn. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Welcome to the Steelers, Bajon Robinson. Huh? I'm drafting for talent, and I'm just bringing in talent. That's what we're doing. Najee, Bajon Robinson. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Yep, that's right. Bajon and Najee, the best RB combo in this franchise. Great one-two punch. It's going to be lethal. But we do decide to sim the draft after our third round pick. So let's fast forward to my second second rounder. I was thinking tight end Darnell Washington out of Georgia. And then if I would have made that pick, I would have tried to cut or trade Lawrence Cager. But unfortunately, Washington was taken pretty quick in the second. Wow, that was potentially going to be my next pick. I'm not even going to front. So I figured let's just go with some extra cornerback depth, get Cam Smith out of South Carolina. In round three, I just took the best safety available, J.L. Skinner. And here's what the full draft ended up looking like after simming past the third round. Now let's take one look at the final depth chart with the new additions. It's the same thing before, but we added Jordan Addison to the receiver room, Bajon Robinson to the backfield, and Cam Smith is an understudy in the cornerback room. One thing to 
note for those questioning the Bajon Robinson pick, he ended up being the third highest overall player in this draft class. So I'm saying that was a great value pick. And what I liked most about these draft rosters too is none of the players were higher than an 80 overall. Because sometimes that gets ridiculous. Some of the rookies come in and they're in the mid 80s. But no, we didn't have to worry about that here. And obviously with this new look Steelers squad, people, including myself, wanted to see what it looked like on the field. Which leads us to our next episode, the preseason. Uh oh.